my, my personal philosophy is absolutely to fall on the side of free speech. Um, uh, obviously, this is a real challenge to that, but it's not the same thing as child porn. Child pornography abuses um, children uh, in a way the, they're completely innocent. Obviously, the victim in this case was innocent as well, but this is an after the fact. I'm not trying to defend it, but I'm, I just... But this is a snuff. There, I mean, there, this guy there's, posted there's that an, maybe the murder of someone. Isn't that... I mean, uh, I don't know. Does, but, but, shouldn't but, there be a law the against guy, that? Well, some people suggest there are. Uh, publishing an indictable offense through video may, in fact, violate obscenity laws. I'll let but, obviously but, but lawyers we have to comment be, on But that. we have to be careful mm -hmm. about our terminology because it wasn't that long ago that a naked breast was obscene, right? I'm not. Again, I'm not trying to defend what's happened here, but we have to be very careful about saying, oh, well, this is against the law because it breaks our obscenity laws. The whole concept of obscenity changes over time as well. So I just think... I, I think there's you know, some there's absolutes, a, There's though. a really, really... For all of the publicity and all of the uh, the terrible you know drama of the headlines and so on let's not forget that a, a young man was killed in the most uh, terrible of circumstances